This program has been very, very insightful for me. I've been on other fellowships, but this one is quite different because it's a lot more introspective. It's not about giving people ideology, it is about enabling people to find their heart and find their passion. This program has been really great at trying to get our minds, our hearts, um, our souls in one place. It made me uh, ask myself questions that I usually don't ask myself. I always thought I was a good listener until I came to this program and I had to be consciously challenged to listen to another person and not be having conversations in my head whilst they're talking. I'm not the kind of person who seek out for help, but this program was like, you need help, you can be guided. <laughs> and there's, here is a professional help. So I took that opportunity and speaking to my coach was awesome. Every year you think you've in a way got the formula right now and that particular group of speakers that you have that is the well you can't do better than that and then somehow into the space come the you know the new voices the new speakers and uh, you say wow access to knowledge these days is very easy it's what you do with what you know and that in my view has to do with whether you're a spectator pretender or contender the women were really inspirational. Professor Pakeng, who we then realized after our talk, became the Vice Chancellor, so that was amazing news. I think Trevor was amazing, and we challenged our thinking about we need to shake the ground, we need to shake the continent. What are the structures in the paradigm that need to be changed, and what is your power in relation to them? We have to shake a country at its foundation. Oh my goodness, uh, I am looking forward to Pastor Ivan today. The journey we in Mapto completely accidentally was a journey where we had helped millions of Zimbabweans to scale the wall of fear, to come out from the places where we had hidden for so many years and for the first time be able to say, I do want change. I think our job is really is all about just creating an environment that enables uh, amazing things to, to, to happen. I count it a very big um, honor to be in the midst of other people that have achieved so much in their various fields. There are politicians, there are journalists in this group, there are writers, academicians. We harness on each other's knowledge and understanding, especially in our presentations. The two weeks tax that was given to us, it was not easy. But then you could feel that everybody has something to contribute. We want to thank you for the opportunity to present to you what we believe will be a continental game changer. It is then our great, great honor to announce the winner as... Ibu! Ibu! We are serious about our connections. We are already charting who will help who, who will assist who. Ethiopia and Zambia are like so far apart, but funny we have so many similarities and common interests. So I think this is a great platform for introduction and we hope to take the friendship forward. No untruth must go and fail. We truly share a sense of Pan-Africanism. We all share a sense of agitation over where the continent is currently is. And we all share a sense of responsibility for it. And that's what's come up in those honest conversations. It's when you recognize yourself in somebody else's words, or you recognize your, your passion and the work that they're doing. So those have been the moments that have been very meaningful to me. That was the first time I was, I did such a thing and my heart was pounding. I think words cannot, cannot express how thankful I feel right now. What this program does is that it enables people to grow as leaders from the inside out. So for me to, to observe the, the challenges, the aha moments, the connections, the inspiration, all of that stuff, it's it's been absolutely wonderful to be a part of that and to hold the space and to support them. The lecturers in the program have been amazing, so it's been a fantastic time.
to me the program is really a highlight of women power in Africa. It's been an incredible experience, a life-changing experience.